Hi everyone, this is Ram from Informatica Global Customer Support Team. In this video, we'll see connected lookup in Power Center. So if you see, there is a part one video for the lookup where uh, we have talked about all the theory of the lookup. Now in this video, we'll, I will show you all the demo covering all the theory which we have already covered. Okay, let's start with a quick demo. Now before going into the demo, now I wanted to tell you, so as I already mentioned in the previous videos, like lookup is used to look something in the table or a file and get the information. So that is why we use a lookup. Now, let me give you some background. Now this, there is a source, okay? So this is my source. I have a products 10 as my source table. Now let me execute this query. There are 13 records in the source. So this is the pre product ID, product name, product quantity. Now, uh, this is the lookup table, product location. So now what I'm going to do is, like this products 10, so what is a source? This is a source and this source has product ID and this will be compared with product location, product ID. And if that is there, then I, I need a location. I need to get the location from that lookup. So if, this is a target table. Now we can see product ID, product name, product location. So now what I'm going to look it in, in this lookup table is, so I'm going to look the product location. So that's why it is called a lookup table. So lookup is nothing but you are going to look something. And if the condition is matching, so the condition here is product ID. So the source table product ID and the product lookup table product ID, both are equal, then I need to get the product location. Okay, now let me go to designer. Now uh, here we can see, so I have imported the product ID, product name, product quantity, which is a source. And now here we, we have a target. Now what I need to get is, I need to use a lookup transformation. So let me reconnect to the repository once. Now I'm going to create a lookup transformation. So transformation lookup. So here you can see a lookup transformation will be there now we can see there is a uh, which is a spectacle which is uh, you can see so that is what is meaning of lookup now if you see select the location of the lookup table so whether it is a source that means if you have already imported a source definition so that also you can use and target on the target table if you want to use you can use and source qualifier so on the source qualifier also if you want you can use now return all values on multiple match so this is what so if you want to return all values when there is a multiple match that I will explain you, but just remember this, there will be an option return all values on multiple match. Now I wanted to import it. So I wanted to import from relational table. Now let me connect to the Oracle. Now I'm going to uh, import this one. Now we can see lookup got created. Now here when I double click and open the ports, now we can see product ID product location so these are the values which are uh, present in the lookup table now by default if you see so output port and the lookup port so these two will be the checked one so input ports are nothing we didn't pass anything now come to the properties now look up sql override so if you want to write any sql query you can write it on the uh, lookup table now lookup table name it is prod underscore loc and lookup catching enable by default the catching will be enabled okay now lookup policy on multiple match so this i will uh, talk later so use any value. So there will be like by default will be use any value. So we'll be having use first value, use last value, four values will be there. Next is like lookup uh, catch a persistent. By default, it will be unpersistent. Unpersistent in the sense like the lookup, whenever you run a lookup uh, session with a the lookup, then lookup file, uh, catchy files will be created because lookup catching enabled, okay? So that catchy files after the session run, if it is impersistent, then it won't be present on in the server machine. But if it is a persistent, so when you click this, indicates if a catchy is persistent. That means if a catchy is persistent, the lookup files which gets created, it won't get deleted after the session run completed. Now dynamic lookup catchy. So dynamic lookup catchy, We'll see later in the unconnected lookup, we'll see the dynamic lookup catchy. And for now, I'm going to use a static catch only. Now, because starting lookup catching enable, and now condition, here you can see, so it is not enabled because from the uh, input, we didn't pass anything. Now let me pass product ID. I just wanted to compare the product ID of lookup and product ID from the source. So now you can double click on ports. You can see PID, which is an input port, and you can see input is being checked, okay? next output next um, lookup uh, return no lookup will not be there output will be there now condition you can see product id is equal to product id now let me save the, uh, now from now i am going to connect product id so when these both are equal then product location will be written now product id i wanted to connect from source only i need product id so let me connect from here and product name also from source 
and product quantity i don't need product but i need product location so the, here we have product location okay now let me save this now by default lookup will perform a left outer join okay so when i click here right with this c so by default the uh, join condition will be left outer join that means so whatever the so records that are present in the source the so all the records will go to the target and the only the matched records from the lookup so this is a left table this lookup will be a right table so the matched records will go to the target and the unmatched so if the unmatched records are there in the lookup that will be going uh, go as null okay let me create a session now i have created a session and i have run the session now we can see this is the target table so there are 13 records that got loaded so as i told from the source all records will get loaded because it is a left outer join and this is the lookup table now for a one it is equal to one so that's why one one bangalore it came okay so one laptop bangalore so like this it got created up to so here if you see the lookup table there are eight rows so that's why up to eight rows we got a batched one and from ninth row there is no information so that's why we got null so here you can see so there is no uh, records so if you see 10 10 is not there in the lookup table so that's why it did it match so that's why we got null here for the 10 and 11 is also not there 17 is also not there 100 were not there these are not present in the lookup table now if you carefully observe here so product id 1 so when it is comparing with 1 so 1 it should come bangalore but and also if you see 1 is already second time also it is there now which value came into the uh, target table bangalore came why it came let us see now if you carefully observe in the lookup so this is the one like lookup policy on multiple match this is the important thing as we mentioned use any value so that's why by default we are getting we sometimes in a in some session that will get bangalore and some session that will get jammu kashmir now i wanted to use only jammu kashmir which is the last value that's why i'm clicking use last value and save this mapping and then run again now we can see as i have used the last value so here jammu kashmir came so that means the last value is jammu kashmir so that's why it came now if there is any middle value if, the, if you have one multiple times but if you need to get middle value we don't get so only four options are present which is use any value use first value or last value now if you want to fail the session or if you want to reject the record you need to use the last option and one more thing that we need to observe here if you see so this is my catchy directory as i mentioned by default it will be catch catchy files will be there okay now if i do uh, lsf ltr you cannot see any catchy files because by default catchy will be there but that will be a non persistent catchy okay that means after the session run completed uh, the catchy files will get deleted now if you want to keep the catchy files in the in the location and if you for the second run or third run if you want to use these catchy files instead of going to database there uh, again going to database and creating catchy files so in order to improve the performance we can use a persistent catchy let me do that here we can see lookup catchy persistent okay so when i check this option that means you wanted to store the catchy file and from the next run so instead of hitting the database it will go to the persistent but remember this option should be used only when the lookup table data won't change so if the lookup data table data gets changed then you can use this pre built lookup uh, lookup source is static so you can use uh, a recatch from lookup source so you can use this option okay so if the look if the lookup table data gets changed okay if it is not getting changed then you can use a persistent because every time in order to hit the database you can improve the performance by directly going into the catchy file let me save this now we can see this lookup catchy file gets created even after the session that complete it won't get deleted now when you run the session take next time it will pick up from here okay by default there will be two which is index catchy and data catchy now demo got completed now this is what static lookup uh, catchy that we have seen dynamic lookup catchy will be seen in the next video now points to remember by default lookup ports will be output and lookup return port comes into picture for unconnected lookup okay that we'll talk about later cannot connect ports to lookup directly as i shown we cannot connect directly we need to pass from the source qualifier to lookup okay then only it will become an input port now lookup policy on multiple match comes into picture when there is duplicates in the lookup table so as i shown there is one one so that's why if you want the first one or second one 
So based on that, only like lookup policy or multiple match comes into picture. Okay, but uh, generally there won't be any duplicates in the lookup. But I wanted to if I, I wanted to show you, that's why I have mentioned duplicates. Lookup can be a table or a flat file. You can also take a flat file. By default, lookup catchy. When you take a lookup file. then you cannot try the sql override query and sql filter those will be graded out but only for a table you can write a sql query uh, by default lookup catch is static means it doesn't change throughout the session run okay by default lookup catch is non persistent as i told means is removes a catch if after the session run if the lookup table does not change between the mapping run then you can use a persistent catch to improve performance now references you can go through this document which talks about clearly every trans every property which i talked about and this also this is a persistent lookup catch so rebuild in the lookup catch so if you check that option then it will rebuild from the source once again you can check this infrastructure channel as well thank you thank you for watching this video